Hey everybody, it's Tom B. Stone here, here today to rap with you about this new addition to my electric guitar family. It's a pig nose guitar, and I've wanted one of these for over 20 years since uh, I was uh, working in a music shop and one of them came in for stock, and um, they've always been at the back of my mind. I just absolutely love them. Now, if you've never heard of these before, these are great for traveling and practicing. Um, Simply because two reasons. Firstly, as well as a quarter inch jack, you've also got a three mil headphone output. Now, you're thinking, hmm, if I've got a headphone output, I need an amp. Well, lucky you, there is a built in pig nose amp, hence the name. Now, with one watt of power, you're not going to be uh, playing Wembley Stadium without a PA, but. If I just switch the little beastie on, you've got quite a nice range of sound. You can start with a relatively clean, sedate sound. It's quite nice, so if you just want to practice your chords. You're not going to disturb anybody at that volume, especially if you've got your headphones in. If you want a little bit more grit, just turn it up. And the volume knob, by the way, is a pig's nose. <laughs> How cool is that? Um, so we up, up the volume a bit and we've got... Um, so we've got a little bit more grit, um, nice sort of uh, bluesy rhythm, bluesy rhythm guitar sound. So we crank the volume right up and we end up with almost a full shred. One thing I do love about this guitar is it's a proper hooligan, you can actually get it to give you proper feedback. The main reason I got this guitar was to put into open tuning for slide guitar purposes. Um, yes, I could have probably done that with a cheapy Les Paul, but this is actually nicer to play than a Les Paul. I've got these weird shaped badger paw hands and I find Les Paul's really difficult to play. Um, these are jumbo frets too, so maybe that helps with the transition from what essentially are super strats to this guitar. Um, I also got this uh, guitar with the festival season in mind as well. Um, it's all great having a, uh, an acoustic, but sometimes you might want to play a bit of... You know, just because everybody knows the damn song. So, oh, there we go. Um, because everybody knows it. So you, you, there's all kinds of songs that you can um, play uh, around a campfire with a bit of overdrive. <laughs> The real surprise about these guitars is how good they sound through an external amplifier. For gearheads out there, I'm using a Podfarm UX1 uh, going straight into a pair of Alesis studio monitors. So, with the miracle of technology, I'm just going to plug this in and I'll be back like that. Oh, that was quick. So, here I am, plugged in via the quarter inch jack socket, uh, Insta Podfarm UX, blah 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 blah, and this is what this wee beastie sounds like. It's chunkier than it has any right to be at this size. So, yeah, it's great. You can play lead to your heart's content. And if you can even if you want to go into full on, full on shred. Um, just a great, great little piece of kit. Get one. Um, doesn't take up much space. Oh, and they also come with a free pig nose gift bag. Free, it's free, it's with it, it's free. Um, so, to recap, built in amp, 10 inch speaker, one watt of utter destruction. Um, headphone socket, jack socket, full scale neck, um, very nicely finished. That's the back, in case you like looking at the back of things. Get one, it's great. Cheers, pig nose. <laughs>